What's going on guys? Ben from JK Gear and Gadgets. And Cassie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Cassie, what are we doing today? Today we are getting the Jeep naked. We're going to take the doors off, we're going to take the top off and possibly fold the windshield down. And what we're going to put back on are some tube doors. Check those out, see what it looks like. And it's probably the worst day to do it too. I think it's about to rain, but we're going to do it anyway. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is remove the top to see what this truck looks like with the doors still on and the top off. Now, to remove the top from this truck Jeep, we actually have to take the car seats out. So we do have two little kids, and uh, in order to take the rear portion of the hard top off, we're gonna have to fold these seats down to get access to the bolts behind here. For this video, we actually went ahead and put the Freedom Panels back on. Most of you guys know that we installed the Best Top Sunrider or the Best Rider Sun Top uh, what, like a couple weeks ago. It's been awesome. I love it. And we're going to put it back on. We are putting it back on. It was actually really easy to take off. It took me by myself two minutes to remove from the Jeep and I threw the hard top freedom panels back on just for this video because if you want to get fully naked, you know, you can't yeah. leave the Sunrider on there. So now that we're back to freedom panels, that's the first thing we are going to remove. Oh, you left one latched. Jeez, rookies. <laughs> With the freedom panels off, we're gonna have to take off the rear portion of the hardtop, which we actually need tools for. Jeep includes a nice little tool bag with everything that we need. So we're gonna come up here to this forward hole up on the hardtop. It's kind of hard to find. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and remove these on both sides. While Ben's taking the other bolt off, I'm gonna show you what you can do with your hardtop bolts. So the new Wranglers and Gladiators actually have a bolt container under one of the seats. And there's a little container under here where you can put all of your hardtop bolts. It's actually really neat. You won't lose them. I don't know which one goes in what, but let's we'll start putting it there. And there. Oh, that's definitely the wrong spot. Oh, no, it's the right spot. It's definitely the wrong spot. <laughs> all right, now that we have both of these seats folded down, we're gonna pull off this headliner kit just has that double-sided little velcro tape on the back and we're gonna go ahead and remove all four of these bolts while she's removing those two I'll wait to do these two we're gonna go ahead and pop off this little access cover over here how does it come off oh, there we go kind of yank it off and remove this plug push this red tab back and then undo the connector we have a total of six bolts back here on the hard top that we're gonna pull off before we remove the top Oh, so much work just to take the top off. Oh, it really is. It's a very long process. I think we should be completely free. We're ready. Let's give it a lift. All right, let's set the GoPro up. This is awkward because on the JKs or any of the other Wranglers, sometimes you could almost do it with one person. With this, we're going to have to have two people. Minimum of a four-hand job. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to lift this up and walk it back all the way past the bed and then set it down in the grass. So let me go set the GoPro up. All right, ready? Yes. Well, we got the top off. I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about it. It looks kind of funky, I think, in my opinion. But I think the more I look at it, the more I'll like it. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's a little bit off. From the side it looks cool, but then back here, it I don't know. It's it's alright. It's alright. Next step is to remove the doors. First thing we do in prep of removing our doors is roll all four windows completely down. The first thing I like to do is remove all these screws on the door. I take these off and leave them off pretty much forever. A lot of people will go and put them back on. I don't see the point. So we're gonna grab the same tool that we just used to remove our hardtop and remove all of these bolts. There's gonna be one, two, three, four, eight of them, yeah. Good math. Then. Four times two. Now with this, really be careful that you're not 
scratch in your paint when you do this. So just put a finger behind it and go ahead and pull all of these off. With the introduction of the JL Wrangler and the Gladiator, the Jeep actually included this little door hinge check here. So what this does is not only rely on this strap, Unlike other Wranglers, it actually has a little little positive stop in the door right there. So it's just not free swinging. It's actually pretty neat, but it is one extra thing we are going to have to remove. So we have our extra, the long Torx bit here in our Jeep kit. This is what we're going to use to go ahead and remove these. I like to do this step first, but it's important to kind of remember once that's disconnected, don't close the door. Otherwise, we're going to have a hard time pulling that back when we're coming to put our doors on. Now that we have this first door stop bolt removed, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here, leave this door open and remove all four bolts on the other doors. All right, Ben is finally on the last door bolt. We've been working on the doors for probably 15 minutes, the whole experience, 30. It is time to get the doors off so we can actually see what this thing looks like naked. All we have to do now is uh, pop this little panel off. Yeah, yeah just kind of pull it out and up under here, I'll have to grab the camera. We have to push this red tab up and then flip this white piece up. Ah, my fingernail. All right, then Gina. Ah, ow. All right, maybe I'm doing it wrong, but geez, all right, that's done. We can go ahead and undo our door strap, pull it off, fold our mirror in, pop the door off. Nice and smooth. And these are so much lighter than the older Jeep doors. To take off the back door connector, you gotta move the front seat forward and then remove the plastic piece. It should just pop off. Yeah. And this one, so much easier. Little push tab, pull it down, unhook it. Easy as pie, ain't it? Easy as pie. I don't know why people say easy as pie. Pie is not an easy thing to make, especially from scratch. <laughs> That's so random, but it's very true. Very true. The new Wrangler doors, the JL and Gladiator doors, made of aluminum, so much lighter. It makes it a lot easier to pop these doors off. So it feels like it took forever to take the top and doors off the Jeep. It took us about 30 minutes and we still haven't even folded the windshield down. Might do that in a different video. But as you can tell, I think it looks pretty cool. It definitely gives the Jeep a unique look. And this is my first time in person ever seeing a Gladiator with, you know, top and doors off. As you can tell, there are some tube doors in there on that side. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But overall, I don't know. What do you guys think? It's... It's a little bit odd, maybe because I haven't seen it before in person, but it's it'll be fun. I mean, we still get the topless experience in this Jeep. Now, tube doors. I decided to get a very affordable set of tube doors. It actually comes in a set of four for $315. These are from Hook Road on ubox.com. I'll have the link in the video description so you guys can check these out. No, these are not the top of the line doors. They aren't the best, they aren't the worst, but they are extremely affordable. And from what I've seen so far, they're pretty well made. This mesh that I added on the inside is not, it didn't come with them. I made this myself. I actually got a, uh, a cheap sunshade, cut it up, added some little rivets in there, sewed this all together, and then used some Walmart bungee balls just to make this little mesh inside there. And it turned out pretty good. Just don't look too close at my uh, my sewing skills. But I think they're gonna work really well. The thing I like about them is that they actually use latches. So I've had on my JK, the Steinjager, Steinjager tube doors. You guys have probably seen them in the past. And they use the little pins really cheesy. With these, let me just go ahead and show you. They actually work really well. So. Personally, me and Cassie, whenever we have the kids in the Jeep with the doors off, since we have two, two car seats, they have to sit on the outside edge. Personally, I'm not a fan, and I know Cassie isn't either, of driving around with nothing here. You know, sure, tube doors aren't really gonna protect anybody or anything in the event of a crash, but it's just some type of element here. I don't know, maybe to keep the car seat from falling out. It's kind of silly. It's just a personal parent thing. I don't know, I don't like the kids driving around without the doors or without anything, without tube doors. So at least, you know, until they're out of car seats, they'll be fine. But for now, in car seats, because they're sitting up so high, I think these are gonna be nice. But they definitely look really cool. It's a very familiar style. You guys have seen these, and in the future, I might upgrade, but for now, these work perfectly, and they're not too expensive. All four for 315 bucks, which isn't bad. But the latches right on the inside, and it works really well. 
I was actually really impressed. I didn't know what to expect with these because a lot of the times some of these things can be a little cheesy, but these actually work pretty well. There are adjustments in case it doesn't fit perfectly out of the box. You just loosen these, loosen these two bolts right here on the hinge, close up the door, make sure everything settles and tighten it all up so there's no wiggles. You know, these actually fit really nice. Let's go throw the other two on and I'll show you some of those adjustments if you have to make them. But I think this really ties the look of the Jeep together. Cassie hasn't even seen these yet, so I'm excited to see her feedback on whether she likes them or not. So go ahead and hit them in. Don't forget to put our door strap back on so this doesn't swing open and knock a nice dent in there. So as you guys can tell, it does not close. So what we're gonna do is loosen these four bolts just a little bit so we can line up our hinge. Should be able to wiggle it until it sits. And I can go ahead and tell that we're gonna have to loosen these two bolts almost there see if we can move it forward a little bit more there we go definitely takes a little bit of adjustment but once you get it set it's good to go it's so nice having hinges all right, finish up this last one, go grab the kids and take it for a ride. The car seats definitely kind of kill the badass vibe to it, but let's see how they like it. Let's go girls. Wow. What did daddy do to the Jeep truck? You know, I actually like it. It looks, I think it looks really good. You know, it's not completely naked. It's kind of like lingerie. You know, it's like naked enough, but it's, <laughs> it's lingerie for the Jeep. Yeah. No, Man, it's even easier putting the kids in. You don't even have to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is you ready to go get ice cream? Where's the roof? Where's the doors? Let's go. All right, let's go the fun way. Go the fun way. Let's go the fun way. We ready? <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. That is it for today. It's getting late. We're going to put the kids down. I think tomorrow we're going to come out. Yes, tomorrow. Come out and fold the windshield down. Show you guys how to do that and see what it looks like. We're folded down. Yes. Oh, uh oh. Oh no. All right. So the past few days, we've really been enjoying the Jeep with the top and doors off. It's been a lot of fun. However, it's time to put it all back together. I know I mentioned early in the video that we were going to fold the windshield down. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, what it looks like. And honestly, I think that's one of the best features of these new Wranglers and trucks. Super simple to fold the windshield down, unlike the JKs and older TJs and LJs. Jeep brought that back to make it nice and easy if you want to do it. Before we get to that, I want to show you guys my new Alien Sunshade Sunshade. That's a mouthful. I installed that a few minutes ago. Super simple to install and it's really neat. If you guys don't know what a sunshade is, so when you take your top off, if you don't want the full sun blaring down on you, this is gonna cut down on the UV rays. It's gonna cut down a little bit on that wind noise and overall it just looks pretty cool. They come in multiple colors. You know, for those of you like to accessorize your rig with accent colors, I'm a very boring person. So I went with black, plus it just looks cool. Now. I didn't want to get the full version that goes all the way back. A uh, few reasons. One, they're more expensive. Two, I don't think I'm going to be taking the top off the Jeep that much. We have the best top Sunrider, so when we flip that open, we'll have a little bit of you know shade from the sun and whatnot, and the wind noise will be cut down. So super simple, pretty affordable, and it's crazy to think. I mean, <laughs> we took the top and doors off the Jeep and put extra stuff on, but luckily, the sunshade never has to come off again. Once you install it, you can keep it on there forever. And uh, it definitely looks pretty cool. I'm wishing I went with a color now. That would have been cool to maybe have red, like a matching Rubicon red, like the accents. I don't know, maybe I'll have to upgrade in the future, maybe get like a custom JK Gear and Gadgets one. But that is enough talking, definitely a great upgrade. Now for the tube doors. Been driving around, no rattles at all. These things are awesome, well worth the money. And I think they definitely do look really really cool so that is enough talking let's fold down the windshield 
with the wipers disconnected and the four bolts out of our windshield, we can go ahead and fold it down. Be careful you don't want this slamming on your hood. And there we go. Man, that is crazy to see. Oh, it's been so long since I've seen a Jeep with the windshield down. Definitely a very, very odd sight to see, but that is so cool. We're gonna take it for a spin here in a minute, but there's a few things to note. If, if you have this down, don't go fast. You don't want a bug smacking you in the eye and blinding you. You also wanna make sure that you're not going over two bumpy roads where this is bouncing around on the hood. Mopar does sell a tie down kit. I'll throw a link in the video description on Amazon so you guys can check it out, but it just, you know, holds our windshield to the uh, hood bumps down there. So it's not bouncing around. Now, there's this ugly, ugly little thing right up there. If your Jeep has that, I think that's part of like the advanced safety group. It should have this cover plate on there, which is just gonna cover that up. We're not gonna bother putting that on because we're just gonna do a real quick test drive before it starts raining. So let's hop in the Jeep and see what it feels like. Let's go. Oh my gosh, this feels so nice. Oh, the breeze is beautiful. It is very windy. It is definitely very windy. Oh, this feels so nice. Wow, on a hot day, this would be so refreshing. This thing is so much fun to drive around just like this. With the windshield down, it just completes it. Now, I have to go ahead and get back home and get this all back on before it starts raining. We're driving down to North Carolina this weekend. So I'm curious to see how long it takes to get the windshield back up, doors on, hard top on, and reinstall the best top Sunrider. So this was fun while it lasted. I can't wait. Next summer, I think I'm just gonna leave it like this all the time, except for the windshield down because that is gonna be crazy once we get above like 30 miles an hour. I don't know, like at 30 it felt, it felt like we were riding, riding a motorcycle with no helmet. It just that wind blasting you. It felt so nice. So I'm in love with this Jeep, guys. It is a lot of fun, but let's go ahead and put our clothes back on. It is 4.09. Let's see how long it takes to get all this stuff back on. So we got everything back on. Let's see how long it took. We started at 4.09. It is now 4.47. Finished about two minutes ago. Had to grab the GoPro. So that means it took us about 36, 37 minutes to go from tube doors, no top at all, windshield down, back to how it is now with the Sunrider too. However, with the Sunrider, I just noticed something really, really dumb that I should have noticed. So one of the best features of the Sun Top, Sunrider. Gosh, I keep wanting to call it the best top Sunrider or the best rider Sun Top. The best top Sunrider. One of the great thing about it is that we could really easily just fold these down and fold back the top. But now with the sunshade, you have to actually roll down your window <laughs> and fold it from the outside which is possible and i'll probably you know still do that it's nothing crazy but it is a little bit annoying oh, trying to do this so it's definitely possible um, but definitely something to consider if you want to pair the sunrider with a sunshade but i think it'll be worth it on those really hot days when we want to have the uh the sunrider open but still have a little bit of that shade feature to it but i didn't even think about that when i got the sunshade um totally slipped my mind but i think this concludes the video definitely looks really cool i don't know i don't want to i mean it definitely does look really cool it's an odd look what do you guys think of how this truck looks when it you know top off doors off let me know in the comments what you think i'm 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 happy with it. It takes a long time to get to that point, and it does take a good amount of time to get back to this point. But overall, it's a really fun experience. The kids love it, and it just feels really cool. It's definitely gonna be fun to hit the trails like that. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Like always, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more videos.